He right. weighs 450 pounds. I weigh 140. If his story is that Cat Williams he had a problem with in a parking lot, then he just needs to explain why Cat Williams' face looks like this and he still weighs 450 pounds. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying, I thought he was a big, famous dude. I'm big saying, tough guy, yeah. I thought he was a blood or something. I don't know about y'all, but I have yet to been tired when it comes to seeing anything involving Cat Williams. The good, the bad, the old, the new. And I'm going to keep bringing it to y'all until y'all tell me to stop. So with that being said, here's an incident where Cat Williams talk about an altercation between him and Faison Love, one I knew nothing of. So let's check this out. Go ahead. So everything that's been going on, you know, with what Faze on Love's been saying about I didn't, pulling a gun and everything like that. I was, that. Um, I was taping Scary Movie Five. I just flew in today, so I didn't, I didn't hear. So yeah, he was saying, uh, bang bang. You know, he was saying that uh, you pulled a gun on him outside a supper club or some the other night, and you know, some crazy stuff going wait, on. Wait, 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 wait. Are you <laughs> hey. punking me right now? No, I swear to God. Wait a minute, you telling me Faison, the actor, said on TMZ that I did what? That, that, that a gun was pulled at... at you I, saying he's a snitch? I, that's, he's the you allegation. You saying he's a bald-faced rat? I, he's the allegation. You said that saying. he went and told you street business? Hey, I'm just saying this is what's on our website. I'm just asking about that. It's on yeah. the website already? Yeah, was, it's, we're reading about it today. Oh. Hey, you saw how Cat looked into the camera just now? He's like, it's on the website already? <laughs> Look at his face. Already? Yeah, was, it's, we're reading about it today. Oh, well then you can ask whatever question you got then. Yeah, so I was just curious yes, what, what about these allegations. What what are you gonna say about about that? I mean, um, the police took me to the station. Yeah, I um I, I went to the police department. I didn't run away. I'm saying yeah. We got in an altercation. He said some things. Then he called the police, and the police came. They did a full investigation. Yeah. I was out. What? Yeah, you're out quick. It was just kind of. Check you out, nothing was going on. He right? weighs 450 pounds, I weigh 140. If his story is that Cat Williams he had a problem with in a parking lot, then he just needs to explain why Cat Williams' face looks like this and he still weighs 450 pounds. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying, I thought he was a big, famous dude. I'm big saying, old tough guy, yeah. I thought he was a blood or something. I'm from Ohio, Dayton. We don't even have a gang. We push cows over for a living. We have a Youngstown dairy, me and Dave Chappelle. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Cat. Hey, but look, if Faison, he can tell the police whatever he wants. Faison, write some jokes. Were you scared when he pulled the gun out? Did you think he was going to shoot you? I tell you the truth, I was, because it's like, you know, uh, uh, somebody, somebody with a gun and, 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 and they on that narcotic, you don't know what's going to happen, but I did want... Somebody with a gun and they're on that narcotics. Cool. Anybody else to get, you know, anybody going to be affected, it was going to, it's going to let it be me. Not let, there's just people wanting this by, innocent bystanders and people that were me. So I'm like, if anybody going to get hit, it's going to be me. What up, Cat? What's going on? What happened, man? They made another mistake. Third one in six months. Third one in six months. After yeah. settling with me. Faison called the police on us. Dang, they got multiple people in handcuffs over here. She's in handcuffs. Cat and these two guys right here look like they might be in handcuffs too. Maybe even the um, the security guard back here. And they ran in the club. Yeah. Stand on the other side of those cars over there. Okay. Back where you started over there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, TMZ. So what happened? Altercation? Found stuff in the car or what? Hmm, well... If that's the case, I don't think you'd get out. Yeah. This was just a misunderstanding. Pretty much, right? Yeah. You know, gangbangers are only gangbangers when the gang's around. <laughs> when their gang's exactly. not around, then suddenly they just become people that go and call the police. Uh -huh. and dudes that are five foot five. <laughs> five <foot> 40 <laughs> Oh. So everything's good though, right? Oh yeah, the police were wonderful. The facility was clean, everybody was nice to me. Nice. It was nice. nice. It's wonderful. I'm glad to see you're out. Yes. I'm glad you. to see you're smiling. Yes, sir. Yes. It's all good, right? Yeah. Shortly after the Cat Williams and Shannon Sharp interview, Faison Love put a screenshot of Cat Williams' current tour 
the dark matter on his Instagram page with the caption, the king is dead, insinuating that Cap Williams is not capable of selling out a tour, let alone putting enough ass in the seats. But what Faison Love failed to realize is that he helped Cat Williams sell out his show. Because when he posted this to his Instagram page, people, including myself, went looking for Cat Williams' tour so that we can buy tickets to the show. <laughs> and we did just that. And here go the three clips that Faison Love put up on his Instagram page after the Cat Williams and Club Shay Shay interview. I'm going to warn y'all now. It's going to be hard to get through. Just watch. Chimp Williams. <laughs> Chimp Williams. <laughs> ah. It's hard to address lunacy and hypocrisy and downright ignorance but it's so funny how many people think this dumb stupid is spitting truth but that's the internet I guess you guys want to believe in something so bad I guess you left God and now you believe in chimps like this nigga who's an actual chimp and you're not listening to what he's saying. He's actually calling for help. Um, he's calling for help. None of the shit he says lines up with nothing. He runs a Ford something sub. This is where he tells on himself. He took a tractor trailer after stopping in a tractor trailer lot, a truck stop, and aborted that truck and went to Miami. He rode in the back of that truck with a stranger. Now back then they had a saying, ass, grass, or gas. Nobody rides for free. Cat was giving up that ass to ride, that, take that ride. Cause look, a, a Greyhound only costs $20 to go, maybe for 50 bucks. I'm a boy. He seems to have said that before. I want to talk about that ride down to Florida where you were selling stolen radios for $2,000. And back then, the best radio you could buy was is an Alpine, and they cost two fifty three dollars brand new. So stolen, anybody knows who used to steal them out of cars. You can't sell them for nothing for a hundred, hundred fifty. Still baffled at the fact that this man sat here and said a whole lot of nothing. Like this is what he chose to talk about. He didn't address any of the stuff that Cat Williams said that had any relevancy, but yet he wanted to pinpoint this man going down to Miami at 13 years old and how he got down there. And the fact that he was, uh, selling radios out of broken cars like what and then the fact that he still have these clips up on his instagram page is the other thing that's killing me Phase on. but this is some down bad energy right here take take it down just 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 take just take it down 